Wolf and Randy here, and we're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Snatterton's Farm. And picking up with some sunflower planting here. Uh, pretty much been doing some planting here since last episode. Got just a little bit of the field left to go here yet. Uh, part of the field the hired worker decided to skip for some reason. I, I don't know why. I thought I had this uh, field done, and I was looking at the map and realized, oh, we got the like, missing section here for some reason. But I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, we're uh, finishing up the section here the hired worker missed. And then the uh, plan for this episode, I'd like to purchase, and I haven't really decided yet, either field 17 or field 11. Uh, they're both right around $1 million. So plan is, again, we'll borrow six, 700000 here to be able to purchase those fields. Uh, like I said, I really haven't decided which field yet. I'm thinking either 17 or I'll go with 11 and 12. So maybe that might be the better bet. Not sure. Uh, 11 is just a little bit cheaper than 17, and we should be able to borrow enough money for that. Probably should check again, see what's if the uh, wood chip price has gone up at all yet. Probably not if I had to guess. That's kind of what I'm waiting for at this point. Hopefully the wood chip price will go back up, and then we can uh, sell some more wood chips to make a little more money that way. Probably should uh, check on the greenhouses again as well, make sure they're going okay down in the bottom corner there. And then I'm thinking, uh, not sure what we'll plant really on the, one of those fields once we buy it. Possibly either more sunflowers. Uh, I don't plan on planting any more soybeans at this point. I'm hoping to double crop all the winter crop fields we have planted. So uh, the plan is once the uh, fields we have with winter crop on them are done, we'll plant soybeans on those fields. And like I said, double crop them that way. I've been at least uh, told anyway that supposedly works here with the Midwest season geo mod. So hopefully that works. We'll find out or not. Uh, hopefully it works. Otherwise, we're probably going to end up wasting a whole lot of money planting those fields. But uh, I'm fairly certain it'll work. I guess we'll find out. I don't know, by the way, if there's any other things you can double crop on those fields or not. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm planning with us to do soybeans. At least to me, that makes the uh, most uh, sense anyway, if it's going to work. And uh, plant some soybeans, or not soybeans, uh, sunflowers here. Uh, sunflowers both for the pigs, and then hopefully we can uh, sell some as well. Uh, since last episode, I did go ahead and sell the New Holland Cedar. Uh, we're just having too many issues with it. I mean, we did get it to work there, and it was working okay. Uh, just a little bit derpy there with the width on the field there, field 7. Little bits of missing spots here and there. So I went ahead and replaced it with the uh, John Deere 7200 here. That's 24 row, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure that's what this is. Yes, 24 row. Just counted the uh, row units there. So 24 row cedar here. I think it's actually the same size as the New Holland, or supposed to be anyway. And yeah, of course, always got to be a little narrow strip left yet, right? Okay, so, which field do we want to get here? Field 11 would probably be easier to get to, kind of a straight, rock, straight shot from the main farm here. So maybe we'll go that route. Oh, then we got field 9. I probably have not planted field 9 yet. Uh, thinking we'll plant some corn on that, and we got the small corn harvester, the uh, toe behind, actually not really a harvester, corn picker. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be anyway, is a corn picker, I'm assuming. That's what that is anyway. Uh, maybe we'll plant corn on the small field there, we can use that. And we also got the small chopper we haven't used yet, so small field, that'd be good for that. We kind of have all the fields planted here at this point, so... Oh, maybe field 13 isn't that big. That might be a good field, maybe. See how expensive that uh, field is. Let's 
Cedar folded up here. And for the uh, person that kept request and do a corn planting video with the uh, T7, well, we got the T7, uh, though we were planting sunflowers with it here. We'll head over to nine here a moment, and we'll uh, get that planted in corn. Shouldn't take very long in this field here. Not with a cedar anyway. That would take us longer to turn around than to plant it, actually. We shouldn't really need any more corn planted. We got uh, field 22 planted in corn there, so that should be more than enough corn to last us a while. Uh, we'll probably end up selling some of it or chaffing it too, not sure which exactly. Realign the GPS here, and we're off. And we'll uh, read some comments here in a moment. Uh, Jake was saying, good video. Thank you very much for that. Jim was asking, can you do more videos of Farming Simulator 18? Uh, hopefully we'll get to some more videos on that at some point. And they did release an uh, update here as well. So there's some more equipment, some more larger equipment in the game. I know I was considering upgrading our cultivator and cedar. Uh, it's actually probably a good thing I didn't because they have released, um, I think it was a cultivator and a larger cedar now. So. so yeah, probably a really good thing there. I didn't actually upgrade... Alan was asking, can you please do some work on Corn Belt with making seeds and fertilizer and fuels? Oh, yes, that's right, uh, fuel. I want to do that on Snatter Tins here as well. Uh, corn Belt as well there. I suppose we can do some, but uh, I definitely want to do it on here as well so we have some for the uh, composter. I'll go down there by the uh, biogas plant. That's where the uh, fuel production is. don't remember off the top of my head what it takes to make fuel here again. That's uh, something I want to do on this map as well. Uh, Alan was also saying I'm trying to play this map single player. And uh, trying to figure that all out is a huge task. But uh, with AI extension and course play, it seems to be going well. Well, that is good. And yes, we are using the AI extension on Corn Belt there as well. Folks probably seen that there uh, last episode. Uh, it basically just allows the hard work to go around around the field mode and in theory, be a little bit smarter, I guess. Emphasis there, a little bit smarter. One complaint I do have with this cedar. Really hard to make tight turns with it. In fact, it's impossible to make tight turns with it. You almost have to skip every other row to uh, make it work. Uh, Joe was saying good job, and here's a link to the Balzer Auger Wangens. This comes in three or four colors, and yes, there is a green one. Might be a perfect for the Corn Belt map. Okay. Another field done. And this is kind of why I'm looking at field 11 here. It's like a nice straight shot from the main farm, not too far away. I think this was like 900,000 if I remember correctly. Yes, just under 900,000. Ooh, we could actually uh, do a mission and get it uh, planted for us. That's an interesting thought. It paid about 10,000. That's not too bad. The only thing is I wonder what they'd be planting on it. Oh, no, 
Really? There, there was just space there? Um, oh, 16,000. Anyway, I think we'll just straight out buy it. I mean, we kind of did that with Field 22 and didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, so... Uh, how much is this field? 300. Oh, that is kind of pricey. Didn't realize that field would be that expensive there. Okay, so I guess, let's see, yeah, we'll go ahead and borrow the money needed to buy that field here a moment. And for those of you not familiar with the Seasons mod, basically with the Seasons mod, and I did repay our, was it almost a million dollar loan or $600,000 loan, whatever it was, we used to purchase the large field there, so I did repay that for those of you wondering. So we're just taking a new loan here. The problem is here, it's 5000 at a time. But uh, yes, like I was about to say there, Seasons mod, it uh, lets you take out much, much larger loans. Uh, the loan is actually based on your how much you're worth, I guess. And I don't know, I don't really know how to tell how much we're worth here in the game. I guess the Seasons mod knows, but uh be kind of curious to see if there was a number on that somewhere. Okay, so my plan was to kind of take out about a million dollar loan here. So I'm just curious, how much will a million dollars get us? That should actually be enough to purchase both of those fields. And we should be able to pay that back relatively quickly, I'm hoping. We'll buy that. Yep. And then let's go back to the map here. Like I said, a small field to maybe do some chopping on with a small chopper we have. I'm looking at 16 here, but that's quite a ways away. What about 18? Eh, 18's kind of big, though. 12's kind of big as well. Well, these fields are all... I uh, know there is a hedge between these two, isn't there? Okay. How much is it, though, before we uh, walk away too far here? Hundred twenty-three thousand, not too bad, I guess. Much for field thirteen. Two hundred and five. Okay then. Yes, it doesn't look like a very big field. You know what? Let's yeah, let's go with that. We'll uh, we'll buy this field. We're gonna have to borrow just a little bit more, maybe, unless we don't want to get field twelve. Maybe we can skip field twelve for now. Yeah, let's do that. We'll skip field uh, twelve for now. And maybe we'll get it again at some other point. Like I said, I was going to get 11 and 12, but let's get to 11 and 13 here. We'll call that good. Now, do we want to plant... What do we want to plant on here? I wouldn't mind doing some sorghum. This, uh, this cedar should be able to do sorghum, right? That would be a negative. Okay, what cedar can do sorghum, then? Oh, there's the case. Yep, we don't need you. <laughs> and the international over here belching the black smoke. I would have thought the uh, row crop cedar there would have done sorghum. I think that's typically what will plant it in most... Uh... Oh, this one will do it. Okay. And that means probably the larger one will do it as well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do sorghum here. And then we'll uh, take the New Holland with a corn planter there and plant corn on 13... Well, just to be safe, I probably should not fill this up here. Oh, Ryan left a comment on saying it was update for Farming Simulator 18. Uh, there's a bigger cultivator and cedar. October and oh there was a trailer October 17 okay so yes like I was just actually mentioned there a few moments ago I guess it's kind of actually a good thing we didn't uh, decide to upgrade our equipment any further yet otherwise we would have to upgrade again uh, we probably don't have enough money at this point I'm guessing to do it and hopefully again we will be playing some more farming simulator 18 here at some point 
Again, so many uh, games coming out at the moment that I'd like to play, so... Uh, David was saying, the mother bins are made in Coolman, and I live near a Coolman. Nice. I'm assuming, is that uh, possibly Australia then? Not something at least uh, see in the States here, at least where I live anyway. Don't typically see uh, the bins out by the edge of the field like that. And mostly just uh, grain carts and trucks. And uh, yes, this Great Plains is a little bit smaller than the other one, but it has the advantage of fertilizing. We can watch, I probably should actually fertilize both of these fields. That would probably actually be a really good idea. Well, let's get the lineup going here then. Pretty sure I got two uh, fertilizers over here. Alice Chalmers is on one. Not sure who's on the other one. Maybe nobody. Let's see. Alice Chalmers is in group two. Uh, okay, nobody on that one. We got the coon there. We'll uh, throw, how about maybe the Minneapolis on that. You could follow. Was uh, debating on keeping the uh, Vermeer rake there. Uh, it doesn't work for the hired worker there, obviously, so that's a little bit of a pain. Okay, and you can follow as well. Or, yeah, fine, just run into the back there. That's something I never could quite understand. You know, sometimes it says, oh, like, 10 meters back, and then it runs into the back end. And then other times you tell it 10 meters back, and it's so far back, it's like, wow. Not that it's really that far to our new fields here. And yeah, for those of you not uh, familiar with how a mother bin's used, uh, like I said, I'm not particularly familiar with it myself, seeing how, again, don't really uh, see them where I live at. But uh, my understanding, the idea behind them, and I know a couple people commented, you know, various aspects about this, but uh, to my uh, understanding, you basically park them along the edge of a field, then you use a grain cart to unload the combines, and then the grain cart unloads into the mother bin, and then from the mother bin, the mother bin just stays stationary, by the way. The mother bin doesn't actually really move. And you know, once you put it where you want it, you don't move it. And you just uh, fill that up. And then I'm assuming probably the trucks or whatever is hauling the grain basically grabs the grain from the mother bin. Hopefully I probably did a poor job of explaining that, but yeah, the, the idea behind the mother bin is not to transport grain. Okay, and we're back here. Uh, Norton Antivirus there popped up and decided to uh, steal my mouse and wouldn't uh, give it back to me in the little uh, update window there. Finally uh, got it back here. Okay, let's uh, start the hired worker here. I probably, probably should check here. Let's make sure you're just a normal hired worker. Got the AI extension mod on here as well. And again, like I've mentioned before, at least with Auto Tractor, Auto Combine, I don't really see a need for it unless you got like odd shaped fields, that type of thing, which uh, this map does have a little bit of. And sometimes it works a little bit better with a uh, course play as well. Okay, we'll bring you down to field 13. I'm assuming we can get that through here somehow.
Looks like there's a gate over there. I'm assuming this is probably about the only way to get to it because I don't think you can get through, through the pigs there. And there's obviously a river that way, so... Yeah, let's uh, stop that. Get rid of that again. Oh, just a regular hired work will do. Don't need nothing fancy here, not for these square fields anyway. Let's see what's international, I believe, is the cedar. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. When pulling this out, brings the tractor to a dead stop. And I'll have to check the rest of the fields, too, see what's what uh, fertilizer state is on the rest of the fields. We'll probably get a couple more tractors uh, spreading fertilizer yet, if I had to guess. Oh, yep, turn that off again. It's uh, left control H, by the way, to uh, change the AI extension settings. And again, the AI extension is kind of like Auto Tractor and Auto Combine were back in Farming Simulator 15. It's now just all one mod. I don't know if it's the same mod author or not, if it's a different one. I'm really not sure on that, but... Was actually considering it might be a good mod to test out there on Drummer. It seems the uh, kind of you know, odd-shaped fields, smaller fields, that type of thing might work pretty good on that map. Okay, we want corn again. Like I said, we'll uh, maybe keep this uh, field here for our small chopper. Might make a good uh, live stream at some point. I think we can do better than that with a GPS. Oh, that's a little too much. Wrong angle. Okay, really? Open this up, shift it over here then. Okay, there we go. And again, it shouldn't take uh, too long to uh, seed this field here, not with this uh, seeder. And once we're done seeding here, I think that'll be it for the uh, seeding, and we'll probably just have to advance time. Oh, that's right. I was going to check, too. What is the wood chip price at? Has that gone up at all yet? Wood chips, wood chips. No, it's gone down. Come on now. That's the wrong direction. We need the wood chip price to go up. I've probably got at least uh, three or four loads of wood chips to, uh, that can be sold yet. I think the uh, chipper is full, plus uh, it's probably got quite a few logs in it as well yet. I did pick up all the logs. The logs have been all picked up. Now I'm just uh, waiting, again, like I said, for the wood chip price there to go back up. Yeah, like I said, with this uh, cedar, it's really hard to turn to the next row here. I think with a cedar this large, it shouldn't be an issue turning to the next uh, next set of row here, but uh, it is for some reason. Oh, well. Anyway, I'll read a few more comments here again. Uh, Fish Boss was saying, awesome video. Thank you very much for that. Tyler was saying, make field 18 on the Corn Belt map your goal. Uh, like I mentioned, I don't know that we uh, plan on buying that field without uh, cheating in the money to do so. Let's put it that way. 
Our plan is we'll probably just cheat in the amount of money needed to buy that field. Again, like I said, it's a $50 million field. So, not cheap. Uh, Kentucky Farmer was saying Corn Belt is so big, I can't imagine playing it. Well, like I said, you should give it a try. And again, anyone's welcome to join us on the uh, multiplayer servers. Well, you can uh, play nicely and follow the rules. Again, information for the uh, multiplayer servers is in the uh, description there of the multiplayer videos. Uh, you won't find it in this video, so make sure you check out the uh, multiplayer videos if you want to join us. And as well with that, we'll uh, throw the new map that's coming out with the DLC up on one of the servers as well here in a couple weeks. When the uh, Platinum DLC is released. Wolf Howling was saying that seriously thinking about going back to the PC. Would uh, certainly enjoy a map this size and being able to combine and having the combine go around the perimeter of the field would be cool. And yes, of course, to uh, get the uh, combine to go around the perimeter of the field there, like I said, you need the AI extension mod. Uh, the AI extension mod has, you know, around around the field mode. Uh, at least that's what I typically call it. Versus up and down the field mode. Dane was saying you should start a realistic farming series. As in how would I be more realistic? Maybe I should ask. Gordo was saying hello. Uh, Magnus was asking, do we have a fuel station on field 21 on Snattertons? Oh, field 21. Let's see, where is field 21? Uh, 21, no, there is no fuel station on 21 from what I'm seeing on my map. Uh, possibly you have an older version, maybe? Or maybe there's a newer version I don't have, I'm not sure. Yeah, that would be about the center of the map, too. Uh, sometimes mod authors uh, put stuff under the map, and that's why you'll see uh, icons on the map that don't actually exist. Say, you know, like a fuel station, you go there and it's nothing there. That's uh, sometimes what happens with those weird random uh, icons that uh, seemingly don't exist. Anyway, looking at the time, looks like it's about time to wrap up the episode. So with that, if folks have any other comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And I'll probably, if I have time, anyway, try to fast forward time in a couple days here until something else comes up. I'm not sure what the next thing will be here, really. Probably be, unless the grass ripens, it'll probably be getting to harvesting our winter crops, I would guess. Or maybe we'll do something with the animals, too. We'll see once here. But anyway, like I said, folks, we'll wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching, and till next time.